Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to today's Cashflow Digital, sponsored by Niche Website Builders. The first time I've ever got the hand right. Um, that was actually wrong. No? You, you pointed the opposite. Yeah. Yeah, that's wrong. No, it's not. It's the other, that yeah. is. <laughs> are you, are you being, for me. Yeah, are you over here? It's up here. <laughs> really? No, on your end, yeah, it's over here for us. Hey, come on. <laughs> Watch the replay. You're like, the first time I got it right. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, dude. Um, but, but anyway, the link is below if you want to see what <coughs> niche website can <coughs> offer you um, in terms of service or services. So do check them out, guys. But questions, put them in the chat. Let us know who's here, what your questions are. We're here to give you as much knowledge as we possibly can. That's not uh, much. Yeah, not a huge amount. You're traveling coming up here in a week or so, aren't you? Me? Yeah. Dubai? Nah, a, month. a month. Oh, is it at the end of February? What, Dubai, yeah. Ah, uh, dude! I, for some reason, I thought it was the first week. Oh, that's 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 London. That's this other fucking thing. Um. So yeah, Dubai. Boston that makes Dubai. it a little bit easier. Okay, never mind. Um, I, I was confused, bro. I'm like, it's next week, dude. Why? I'm like, what the hell? Did you come in Dubai? You know, I I don't know. I if you want to do something on the side, I will, dude. Well, yeah, do it. Let's do it. Well, as I said to you, I'm happy to. I told my wife it was next week and I might go. And she's like, what the? That sounds about right. <laughs> she goes, I tell her that I was talking about it like in November and then like it got decided no way. And then the week before we're deciding maybe or whatever. And she's like, that sounds just fucking like you. Mike says gold bullion and then like books it out the door. Bullion. Bullion. Nah, dude, we'll, uh, if you want to do a, a meet up or something, we could easily do it. We need to arrange it soon so that we can fucking yeah. get bodies there. Brad, but go to Dubai with me. Mm -hmm. Do it. No, I might not come back. Who will stab you there? I, I probably have to worry about much worse. Do you think? Me? Yeah. Like me. getting too much gold bullion? Yeah. I still want to, to whip his ass. Um, Nerd so shit. You can wish in one hand shit in the other. See which one fills <laughs> up first, Craig. Um. <laughs> Nerdy Romero, Mike has a microphone and is not hiding in his desk today. Yeah, dude, know, right? your, your camera angle and everything's different, Ali. I always thought you had some dirty ass floor or something. Um, because you were usually does, and you could just see the fucking top of his head. Nerd shit, you wouldn't understand. Glenart from SoCal, SoCal. Mr. ZD Electrical, doing good to see you, mate. Brad. Question for you. What what did I add this week? Let us know what you think he added, Aaron. Um, it's all a game. I what think can I see? The statue was there last week. Um, there's more pillows on that couch. Diversity of pillows. Yeah. It, one of the pillows might have been over here last time. Yeah. Um, what's that <laughs> Buddha shit in the back? No, that's a cactus, right? Yeah, that's a cactus uh, over there. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's all the same. Otherwise, we got the, the, the 10X hat over there. What there? there? Mr. Uncle Grant Cardones. He signed it. Oh, really? Cool. Mm -hmm. It's not really that cool. That's not. I, I'm just humoring you. This is Thank my you. job. That's nice. At least someone does. Joe. Good to see you, Joe. Um, Aaron says your mic reminds him of something he's seen on a hamster related website, but can't put his finger on it. It's X Hamster, is the website, and Mike has been on that plenty of times. Yeah, he's on the camera, <laughs> it's, it's, it's actually the boom mic that you're seeing. <laughs> it is. What'd you do there, Zed? Cactus is for the X Hamster video, bro. I love cactuses. Chase, is that Chase Rayner? Yeah, it is. He sucks at golf, though. Yeah. Come on. Um, I think his email, I'm going to read his email because it told me that I will make $5,800 today. Who's Chase? Chase's. 
AI. I love yeah. watching his emails. I watch them all day. Hey, Chase, just act like you're Chase Rayner the whole time and talk about SEO. Let's pretend. <laughs> <laughs> ZD, what is the problem? Oh, he's removed schema from all pages and his ranks dropped from page one to the bottom of page two. The put it back. Ringing. So, yeah, put it back. Yeah, that's what I would do. Is that a large drop in the corner? <laughs> yeah, Joe, is that a large rock? Yeah, what is that corner, dude? That's a poof for your feet. A poof? Yeah, Did a you poof. see a poof? A poof. Hang on. That's what it's called. You're a poof, bro. <laughs> Be back. I'm a fox. I needed it myself. <laughs> you needed it yourself with a rope. <laughs> God. Um, guys, if you want to learn anything about affiliate, try not to sell poofs. poofs. Um, yeah, that, that on Amazon. Who's you, that? That's actually the second poof I had. The first one I purchased on Amazon, and it looked much bigger online. So I know you've been there. Dude, you are much bigger poof than you used to be. Yeah, I know. Um, anyway, so... ZD Electrical uh, is going back and doing a rollback just now. Um, it looks like a large sea urchin. Bloody hell, Brad, you're, you're getting slaughtered today. Uh, keep the slaughtering coming, guys. Yeah. Like, just, just Hashtag abuse. roast bread. Uh, yeah. There's a real question in there. It's, it's better than uh, when it used to look like a prison in here. So no poops in prison. I guess we could actually just repeat what the one dude said for Brad is that just do as much as you want. That's a prison thing? No, the fucking internal linking thing that you said, dude. Said. <laughs> that was uh, um, Link Whisperer guy. It was on their blog. He said, just link as much as you want. It so hurt you. Exactly. a good way to do it is just use Surfer, pull out like the cluster supporting, like, and then remove all the uh, internal um, keywords for each cluster and use that first cluster name uh, sheet as pages supporting what your target is and link from them. Also, if it, from a non-technical pers perspective, um, think about oh, what makes, technical. What what makes sense to link? Like, wh where do the links make sense? If I'm talking about dual diagnosis in a an article that's not fully about dual diagnosis, should I link over to my full dual diagnosis page? Probably. That's how I usually do my internal linking. Just use. That's a good way to do it, Brad. And that's exactly yeah. what I just said in a better way. A way that no one fucking understands. Yeah. Go to Surfer. Do the keyword search. Export the fucking report. Remove data on mm -hmm. column A. And then build the content and link to the target. Uh -huh. What well, the content's okay. already linked? They're built, though. Then link from that. Because mm -hmm. okay. you've got your internal link plan. But that what I'm saying is that will cover um, what you're talking about if that's what they're doing in the industry. Because they use the scrape of competitors to kind of build the... The clustering in that tool. So yeah, what Brad said. What Mike said. What they both said. Yeah. What are you doing, Craig? <laughs> He's cleaning up from the last call. Oh. The phone call. oh, is that what you were doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's some greasy shit on here. So yeah, I bet. Um, yeah, Quit taking it to the bathroom. <laughs> Oh, P, does that answer your question? Because we really are trying to try to answer your question. So if you need more explanation on that nonsense Brad spit out, um, just go ahead and ask. <laughs> yeah. Um, Nerdy Romero. For sale oh, uh, OP followed up. Let's do that real quick. Yeah. So what I would do is take what your target page is and just drop that, that EMQ, that exact match query, into Surfer and see what um, comes back as the cluster names for that keyword, and then cross-reference that to the blog posts you already have and the pages you already have on your website. And if you have something that matches those clusters, link from those to the target. And well, then if, go ahead. Uh, you're good, yeah, finish. No, um, you're fine. What about just throwing it into Surfer, uh, into Growflow and just linking, internally linking when they tell you to? I, if it depends on the size of the site, I would say that for like local here, yeah, probably, absolutely. For the stuff that I'm working on right now, I wouldn't because it doesn't work. 
It yeah. just is too big, um, and and grow flow won't so go. That's there. what she said to the guy behind you. When you can only get a quarter in, and then you got to go slow for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. On to Ned the What the fuck just happened? <laughs> Craig was speechless for a second. <laughs> yeah. For Sep Shaker sites, he's got some that ranked, made money, and then dropped from relevant rankings. How do you utilize them after backlinks, wipe, and start over? Or just ignore them. What do you do? You you can actually go in and um, if you think it's because um, your pages are no longer optimized, I would. Uh, if that's the case, go in to the uh, Shaker page, uh, delete Shaker pages, uh, re-optimize them, and then throw it uh, back out and uh, recrawl them. So that's probably what I would do if you think it's if it's just de-optimized. Um, over time that happens. So that's what I would do. If it's just a straight indexing issue, then I would just force the index issue. Maybe even add some more uh, media on the page uh, and then throw it back out there. But yeah. Um, I would, yeah. You'd want to redo your content, right? Is that what you said? Yeah, in a few different ways. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Re-optimize it with uh, either Surfer or um, something like Cognitive and then add more media, add more lists, Maybe add a fucking table um, and then put it back out there. But yeah. What does a table do for us, Brad? It's just different um, structure types. On Dude, the page. It's true, though. Like, it's a good point to bring up is that you have SERPs for a certain query, and you're going to notice that there are certain freaking types of pages that with certain types of templates and, and different HTML for that query versus a different one. And um, as they get further deeper into like, the machine learning and, and kind of scoring pages, that stuff is actually a very important thing. So Brad hit a, a really important point, I think. Like there's a there's some there's a network I'm looking at right now and it still is making money, but the 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 four hundred or something sites, it's like a paragraph of text for each page, which was working until May, June for that market. And then the the the, the algorithm, like one of the cores pushed in and uh, some of the new uh, math is in that market now. So it's dropped down from like, I think it's it was like a thousand a day down to like under a hundred a day, um, which is a- Is that per site or the entire network? The network. Fuck, so, if it was per site, that would have been fixed yeah. already, bro. Yeah. Uh, also, one other thing is to uh, nerdy, throw it into um, the whole site, into Ahrefs run like their standard tech audit on it. And you might need to add internal linking on it too. Uh, that would help quite a bit. So do those three things. Low dig. Ever go on HRS and see a huge spike in backlinks and get excited then to only find out it's all from malware? Every day. Like that? There's also another dude, and I don't know if you'll ever remember this. I don't know if you guys do it. Uh, one of the other lads in my mastermind, um, their server has been DDoSed that a hundred of the client's websites on. You ever he's, he's Dude, like, one of my servers got broken into one time and they were using it for uh, crypto mining. So they hacked the VPS and then they just put a crypto miner on it. And it fuck got the... There was a, when I was in, there's a certain pill that I was in for a long time. By and, yes, exactly. And those SERPs, man, I, I made the mistake of going into those SERPs in WordPress and there's a certain Russian dude that just was hacking my shit daily, just smashing mm -hmm. my shit. Yeah. But and uh, is, yeah, go ahead. The question is for this guy, the phone's ringing off the fucking hook. Like that, everyone's that emails and everything are fucking down. Do you just fucking ignore it and hope for the best? Or I, would, I would probably craft an email or something and send it out to everyone. Like, hey, we realize that your site uh, is de is more than likely down. Here's what happened. Uh, we're doing our best. Uh, follow us here and just throw over Twitter or Facebook or something. Where you Having an, an, a message on the phone when they call that just kind yeah. of repeats that would probably be the best and safest route for the business. Yeah. If you want me to fix your shit, stop calling me. Yeah, we're busy <laughs> working on the issue. I'm not talking to you about the issue. Yeah. Is it, is it happening right now? I believe so, yeah. That sucks. That is a pain in the ass. It's one of the reasons I don't like hosting people's shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I learned that. It's, it sucks. 
It seems like easy money too. Yeah, it's all right when it's nothing I mean, goes wrong for three years and fucking yeah. nothing happens. But when it goes wrong, it all goes wrong. You know what's funny is uh, when people want to do hosting and you're like, H- "Have you analyzed the cost on it?" Uh huh. It is dirt cheap, and uh, we'll make so much money because we can do it for pennies, and then charge everyone ten dollars a month and blah blah. Yes, but have you looked at like how much it's going to cost you when traffic starts coming in? Uh huh. Have you done the math? Uh huh. Are you sure? Yep. And then they didn't. And then they they launched said service, signed a bunch of people up, and then realized it's going to be a lot more expensive than what they thought it was going to be. So Glenn's question is a really good one because this is an example of somebody telling Glenn that something's true that just they don't have a freaking clue what they're talking about. Um, reciprocal guest post question. Large Pet Insurance Co. wants to write a guest post on our pet food site. I'm asking for a reciprocal post. Insurance company claims Google will penalize us. Is this true? How do we prove it? It's not true. Like you, you, if, if you your profile to, is 100% reciprocal, then yeah, you're maybe in trouble. Yeah. yeah. But uh, if you think about it like this, you guys are actually like not a competitive business to each other necessarily. You, you, you could have a business arrangement. And if you want to go look at like major companies that own multiple websites, they do this stuff all the time. You, it's, it's very common for different brands to have strategic partnerships with each other and talk about each other. It's just um, don't talk to them like a reciprocal post. Just talk to them like, hey, let's freaking talk about each other and, and promote each other's website. Uh, really, it's not an issue at all. And if I mean, there's tons of sites that could be said showing oh. hey these guys have a 70 percent reciprocal link profile and it's working you know? what what would maybe be even better too is if they stick to that stick to thinking that it's going to hurt their site say okay um what's your emails look like well our email list is this big okay well do some uh some email drops uh for us and then we'll put a link on our site back to yours and we'll help each other out so you linking from the email as opposed to that and you'll get the traffic and sales. And you'll get the ranking off of that traffic as well too, man. Yeah. So like if you do that smartly based on your clustering and what you're doing for your, your organic and you use their email, yeah. it'd be more beneficial than a single post. I'll tell you that right now. Fuck. You might just send them into a lead cap or something. That's what I'm saying. Like there's yeah. so much to do there. If you have like a, pa- a page where you are doing like um, SEO and a traditional campaign at the same time, like mixed, if you can have them promote to that page, um, take a look at go sign up for daily um, stoic.com and look at the way the email uh, sends every day and how he interlinks in his site and, and, and model off of what he's doing because he murders it. He's a media guy, though. He knows his shit. He does know his shit, but he kills it, man. He knows what he's doing when it comes to organic there. Yeah, th- there's a reason that dude uh, climbed. What was that company? He climbed up. Like I want the link to you. So if they're going to put a get, it, this is what you do, man. If they're going to put a guest post on your website, um, maybe you can talk to them from like a news standpoint and then see if they would like to reference the guest post on your website. Right. And, and their media portion of their website. Like when they talk about what's going on with their brand, that would be a good way to jump into there. Um, I might take like looking from a traditional marketing standpoint, I might take, especially if they're branding in that post, it might be a good idea to take it no matter what, because what picks up that article in the industry, it, it might have a nice co um, citation effect for you too. Um, and a branding effect, but get the email, get the freaking put the link yeah. and try to get all of it. I don't think there's any way MetLife's going to send out an email for him though. No, of course not. But yeah. um, <laughs> still, still ask. You know, How about a link on their fucking Facebook page, not directly from their, their website, you know, a Facebook post about uh, Glenn's company or whatever, maybe. You might have secondary and tertiary brands that they could email from too, though. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. Like, find their True. media kit on their if they have a media kit anywhere, get that and see what's going on. Honestly, they probably have a network of sites too. Okay, we're I'm not. Saying. Yeah, yeah, like, uh, yeah. You said, but like, get a link from one of their other sites. Yep. So, th- I don't know. Turning but, it into a three-way link trade and laundering it like that might make them more comfortable. Yeah. But they probably will say we don't do that. Just say don't, don't say laundering. Time. Yeah, they want something for nothing. Don't say laundering. <laughs> True. We have Maeve here, your favorite person. Finally. Maeve, Dave, Grave, <sighs> behave. Maeve, Grave, shave. 
pave yeah, we have the hair and nails gang. Honestly, look at Mario, right? Look at his face. Eastern European beard, stocky. Honestly, the hair and nails guy, we always joke with him. He's, he's got a, a website in the hair and nails niche. Fucking hilarious. It does really well. Yeah, it's an outrageous amount of traffic, but you just never would have thought. One, Mario, of, one of the most badass guys in NFG has the best hair too. So you never know. His name, his name's Mario too. So Mario is a sexy dude, man. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he'll I, kick I your face like, too. He, literally, I don't clean say... up your dead dog for you. Yes, he will. And raccoons. <laughs> and... I saw a possum the other night. I was taking out the trash. First time that's happened at my house. It's walking in between, like towards the woods. I said, "Get possum." Dude, I fucking looked out the window and there was fucking thirty elk on my field eating my alfalfa shit. That's not good. They're better than the deer. The deer try to get my fucking trees. Yeah. Fuck that shit. Anyway, Aaron says, just charge them <laughs> and buy the guest post that you really yeah. want. That would be an option, but if it's MetLife, they think I'd want MetLife for free. Yeah. That's the one I really want. Yeah. Mario, I don't know what Mario's talking about. If it's Mario Zek or your Mario, um, but Brad's Mario. It sounds sexy. Mm -hmm. I saw that video. Like, I, I call him my Mario when I pick him up and swallow him like a baby. My Mario. It's me. My, 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 my Mario. <coughs> what? Guys, questions are required. Hey, it's it's questions or a blank stare for the rest of the <coughs> And We make very good soup with elk. What's I've that guest's heard... name? Elk is good, man. I think it says Harry Minge. Nappy dugout. Uh, <laughs> elk is really good, dude. That's... You had elk in Montana, didn't you? Me? Yeah. Did you yeah, eat it? I've had elk. Yeah. You had I've it had up it. in Montana. I've had it. Yeah, I've had it in Minnesota too. It's yeah, elk good. is fucking great, dude. It's yeah. uh, deer like venison. I'm not a fan of. It's too like, and same with freaking antelope, dude. It's too gamey. That's, nice. like Craig. That's all that uh, Joe Rogan eats. All I eat is blood sausage, like Craig. Yeah. Yeah. Blood pudding, blood sausage. What do you mean blood, blood sausage? Is that what you call sausage over there? Blood, blood sausage? fries. It's a, it's a certain kind of sausage. I want some chips with my chips. Ah, Mario's second name translates to rabbit, so rabbit is his second name. Oh, right on. Learn yeah. something every day. Exactly. My um, last name translates to nothing. Pierce. That could yeah. be Pierce. Pierce He's a that. real Pierce of shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we did a bunch of like fucking family history for the church for ourselves and shit, dude. And like I got back to Ireland and there's like seven people in debtors prison. Still? No, no, no. Like back in the past. That's where that uh, fucking came from. Yeah. Dude, I tried to do that family history shit and not a lot of stuff came up. It shouldn't go too too far back for you. I mean, the way that they inbreed over there, it's like it looks like this. Your family tree, right? Oh, oh. It's a bush, bro. <laughs> it's a it's a family bush, dude. It's, it's a, a family, family lawn. It's a family lattice. Come on, <laughs> you guys can't talk about inbreeding, man. What? Fuck me. I mean, oh. Fucking hellbilly's <laughs> over in the US. We man. can't talk about it. <laughs> not that many people came over on the boat Craig what do you want us to do um, Aaron when you send SEO autopilot links uh, autopilot links to your tier ones how many are you typically sending are there any types from SEO AP that you don't send um, so I wouldn't recommend <laughs> so here's the thing right Aaron you know, if you're blasting someone's guest post or someone's newsroom, um, it, you don't want to piss off the vendor. Um, you know, you don't you don't want to be attacking their stuff with a whole bunch of stuff. Um, so it, the answer is it depends. Uh, you know, if I don't care about the vendor or I don't give a shit, um, you know, slam what you like at it. But it's got to be able to withhold. It's got to be able to withstand. What you're throwing at it is it likely to to harm the website? Uh, obviously, for big newspaper articles or whatever, uh, that's fine. 
Um, but you might piss someone off, so I would probably be moderate um, with that. Um, in an ideal world, I would send a handful of edits rather than SU yes. Autopilot. Yes, I, would so I, then, say. I would then potentially use SU Autopilot on on the edits. <laughs> yeah, if you them. need them, if, they're the, if, yeah. if the edits need them, that's where I would do it too. Or, or um, uh, uh, if you've got your own network, because this is why we always talk about having your own network, you could uh, incorporate it into something that would end up looking like a DAS stack, essentially. So you can link from a network site to your primary money site, uh, maybe embed a YouTube video and link to the, the guest post as well. And then you're, you know, all of one. And then send the edits to your your uh, network site. Mike's drawing it out. I am. <laughs> I'm drawing it for them. <laughs> He's got an <laughs> easel. <laughs> Palmer, Palmer has that white fucking screen behind him now. And he, and he draws on it. Nice. Yeah, I need one of them, man. That's, cause yeah. I like, they are nice. We well, ha I had one for a while, but I just, like, never used I it. I need a, yeah, I need a whiteboard in here you know i looked up the meaning of maybury because i never i couldn't remember ever doing that you know what the fuck it means the mud hill what, what the fuck does that mean mud, mud hill. hill ah mud, mud hill mud hill that's what maybury means okay. it's earthy kind of like me that's crazy mud hill dude mud hill call me mr mud, hill. mud hill that'd be a Ooh. good uh band name Joe Maricic name translates to someone married an itch. So uh, <laughs> tell your wife. Yeah. Um, and yes, Dun, I am aware of the Campbell McDonald history, but that doesn't mean I can check my ancestors out. I went on that website and there's not a lot of fucking ancestors out. Is that there. like the guys flipping burgers? No, uh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I will. Yeah, that's Dun's. That's Dune's ancestors. Mm. You know, we killed them all when they were sleeping. That, so that's like Hatfield that's McCoy type thing? Yeah. Yeah. But we have a serious question from Matthew Bennett. Mm hmm Yeah, exactly like that. That's confused everyone even more than they were before, <laughs> Mike. Right there. Bonus. Um. But Aaron, to answer that, I would normally power up the guest post with edits, and then things like SEO autopilot and stuff are going to help those edits remain in the index. More importantly, than the your edits should not need to help remaining in the index. Index, stop that. Buy different yeah. edits. Yeah. No, I'd still blast them. Fuck it. Buy um, different edits. Don't buy edits that need help. Come on, dude. Because then you're buying someone's network that's not real edits. And Mario Zek, I can pronounce Joe's last name and I can't use. Of course I can do your Zek, it's easy. But Matthew's got a real question. Can you still build local rank and rent websites without EAT signals like meter team pages and all that garbage? Yeah, you can. I mean, I built one at the event, um, the mass page one, and it's getting calls. So yeah, you can. It doesn't work out better with even yeah. in like fucking high medic eat fucking industries. It just depends what you're doing. Yeah, that was rehab. Yeah. I mean, uh naturally you're gonna include some of the eat stuff uh if you build it properly, you know, without any additional work. So what are the funny. words at the bottom? I can't see those. You can't read the that Brad's gay. Oh, oh, now I see it. Yes, that makes sense. <laughs> Just in case you didn't capture the bottom words there. Brad's gay. I do not. And Aaron took a screenshot, so hopefully you zoomed in um, on that. But we should we should start just drawing out uh, stacks again, Mike, and see if we can. Uh... Bring that. I have that so down. many in fucking like Drive and like Lucid. And I was looking at, actually, I was looking at Diggity's website. I'm like, oh, dude, I remember when dude stole my fucking graph. And I okay. saw this gra these graphs I drew all over his website, like one of his first few posts, dude. I'm like, I fucking remember someone sent that to me. And uh, 
it, 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 it that it's like blast from the past looking at those maps dude it's yeah. really funny dude um, i mean the shit works it just takes yeah. so much time it's better just to do it with websites yeah like, well have, yeah do, do it with websites of course but um it's like it, yeah for sure don't do it with 2.0s because you've got nothing behind those at all uh, if you're doing it with websites theoretically you should have links going to them but it's just yeah. it takes time so Build out your network and then interlink as you see fit. So, but don't build it out in thinking I'm going to make a big DAS stack. You know, uh, treat uh, like I had to reiterate to someone that reached out the other day. I'm like, dude, just treat it like a money site. That's well, you it. get it. You if you just put a few practices in, if you like, take the whole like, uh, okay, I'm going to take the whole um, press release like attribution type thing. I'm going to use that in my guest posts. So my guest post, if I can get it through and they're going to accept it, is going to link to my target. It's going to link to my Facebook. It's going to link to um, my fucking Calendly or something. It's going to link to my YouTube with a video. And then you're getting your DAS stack in there, right? Or yeah, if you, what's that? Nap. It should have nap. Yeah. And, and, and so if you just take that kind of concept and realize, okay, if I can get anything into here, even if I'm referencing a third party website where I already did a guest post and I, I don't say anything, I'm just writing the article and using this as an authority outbound link that has a reference to another uh, page that talks about your brand. That's kind of what you want to do here. And that's DAS, you know, that's just the way it should go every time. That's how the internet works. Anyway, guys, you're slow with the questions, Mike. Have we got any Shit, oh, I got a bunch, dude. What have you been working on? What's everyone been working on lately? Myself. Yeah, I can't tell. Not at all. You you kind of got a G Steve Jobs look today. Steve Jobs? Yeah. Why? Oh, okay. You look proper. We're going to talk about SEO reporting tools. I put the black shirt and everything. Because I'm lazy. The turtleneck. Actually, let's go see what Reddit's doing. One more thing. And and I, can't, I can't do that. Um, where did my phone go? Um, Nerdy has a question. For your website nets, do they all look different, different theme, etc., or the same basic look and feel? You can use the same theme on a bunch of them. It's just use a theme that's pretty interchangeable. Like I, I like um, Generate Press, and I throw on one of their um, – their uh, sites, or not their sites, but one of their site designs on it, and then I just let it rip from there. Yeah, I usually just install one of the site builders and like then randomize theme and yeah. everything. Or fucking go onto Fiverr and have someone build you a website on your your network site, and then it's going to look different every time. So they'll pull from a random uh, list of themes and throw something up. I like this question because this is my kind of thing. This is question is in GSC, is it possible to see a number of queries in a graph like traffic and impressions and not in GSC itself, but data studio is a great way to do that. To visualize like um, your data and it hooks up really easy. Yeah. I've never used data studio in my life. <clears throat> Me I mean, I if you need to visualize it, you probably have a way to visualize it. I'm just saying that's a way to use it that everyone can have access to for free. Yeah. No, it's not a bad thing. I've just never ever had the need to to use it. Something I should maybe look at. But yeah, who the hell am I reporting to? Other than I thought about taking their uh, data analytics course. I think that would be useful, to be honest. And that'd be this is awesome. Video stuff. Yes. Paste these insights varying plus minus 30 per check. Anybody have a problem where I can absolutely never get similar results with page speed insights? Does this mean it's my host? Tried to do everything and suggested, but sometimes it's a 98, other times a 51. The best answer is this, and I don't even know if we need to read beyond the first fucking sentence. Page speeds insights is retarded. <laughs> <laughs> they don't take into account so many things. Uh, for example, my friend has a Shopify site that gets a uh, 20 to 30 score on page speed, but his core web metrics are 100% passing. My website passed core vitals, but ranges from 50 to 70 on page speed. The numbers you get from page speed are totally off. Don't rely on it. If you're on WordPress, get rid of all the BS plugins, use caching, serve light images in a next gen format like WebP, use CDN, don't add lazy load to hero header section of websites. Do these, you'll be fine. There you go. Wow. Good advice. Easy. 
Yeah, Looker, it is called Looker, and I hate that, dude. It always like makes me think of someone like whistling at someone. She's a Looker. Natural Looker. My girl, she's a natural what, Looker. What's called Looker? The data yeah. studio. Fuck's sake. Looker. They changed, they changed the name of it? Yeah, I think so. I, I, it happened like all of a sudden I was like, what's this Looker shit in my reports? And I was like, oh. Um, they're, you know, they're getting rid of Optimize, too. Did you see that? Google's getting rid of the Optimize platform. Nope. They also heard that Google are getting rid of a lot of staff. They're yeah, they are. Them. You know how they told them? No. They walked up to the door with their uh, card, and, and to go in, you'd either get a red light or a green light. Red light meant turn around and go home. That's how they told everybody? That's what I read, yeah. That's crazy, bro. So 12,000 people got the red light. Got the red light. Yeah. That's, that's when you want to be really good at giving head. But it's not going to do any good in the parking lot. Nah, but before you get fired. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that would help. Unfortunately, I'm not. So. Is it? Code red. Yeah, was that what it was called? Code red? Yeah. Can you imagine going to your workplace and like you're like, God, I hope I, I can get in today. And you like, that's fucking corporate. Yeah. Yeah, that's dirty, dude. Dirty, but we all know they're dirty anyway. Yeah. For new affiliate info sites with brand new domains using WordPress, do you build them out? Uh, do you build out the default category archives page or redirect it? And is one more beneficial than the other long term. I never do anything with the archives page. So I guess I just use the default. Yes. Yeah, I don't do, I don't use archive uh, except on like some publisher sites and those aren't WordPress based. I would not want my crawl budget over there on the dupe content there. If there's not really a reason for me unless I was doing something sneaky with links or something through there. It's the only yeah. time I worry about having it in there for myself. Doesn't mean you can't just make sure like you just want to make sure that you're not in a situation where you're doing that and then you're having a lot of your crawl over there and it's kind of hampering what you're ranking on with your actual targets. Yeah, I would probably no index it. No index follow. Cool. I would. Yeah. And sometimes it's better to even keep shit out of your robots text and, and keep shit out of like because even with a no index and, and no follow, they'll still fucking sp spend budget it's on true. it. Yeah. So yeah. drop it out completely. Like try not if, if you're if it's a new site and you're not going to use it, I just wouldn't build it. I'd never let it get indexed and crawled. That's optimal. Yeah, I would agree with that. Thank but you. Darren's talking about how do you see that name? Zypher? I'm going to show you my ziffer. Ziffer. I don't know. I, I that's how I'm saying it from now on. Ziffer. I've, I've never heard of that, but yeah. Ziffer. Hey, you want to see my ziffer, bro? <laughs> I can imagine. It's actually, it's actually what they've ch kind of changed edging to recently. Like zipper you your links is what Ziffer. you should be doing. <laughs> yeah, don't three or one them, just zipper. Zipper them. Yeah, zipper your images. Come on. Uh, nah, zipper your links, bro. <clears throat> Convert your links to WebP. Because the a, the the I image. hate when I'm fucking trying to steal someone's image. I know, and it comes down as web B, bro. Yeah, it. Links, dude. So, so I go back to it and, and I just like screenshot it. Yep. <laughs> use it yeah, capture. Much yeah. Yeah. Like capture. yeah. Fuckers. And um, but the day. folks, keep the questions coming in. I'll just start reading more questions off of Reddit, dude. Yeah. You ask. Or he asked right there. asking for a friend if my friend was to buy an expired domain for reasons how fast do they need to be redirected the existing back how fast do they need to redirect the existing backlinks to the new homepage Ooh, before someone is aware the site is gone okay so then he expands it into uh my friend is interested in buying an expired domain or 10 purely for scientific non <laughs> <laughs> specific reasons and instead of buying fresh ones at the auction they are thinking about buying recently expired with backlinks are the backlinks still good how quickly can we do that or do backlinks cease to matter after the domain expires how much time do they have is what i'm asking why do people ask that question 
this is new SEOs that are learning about expired domains probably. And it's yeah. weird because that Reddit group, it typically that one there, the, the big SEO one typically is more advanced questions. And that's a pretty, I guess if you're a new SEO and you just learned about that and you've been doing SEO for a few years, maybe it seems like an advanced question. I don't know. So what's the fucking answer then? 7.5 days. Yeah. yeah I think I it actually is 6.8. 6.9. 7. You can take your time with it is what dude says. Links don't disappear overnight. I always build sites with these kind of domains and I've never built any more links since the domain is already powerful. Also, why are you, well, most expired domains aren't really that powerful. Um, they just got their, they connect you to link graph. Uh, I get at least 800 RD domains with a DR40 plus been ranking for years, but there is a whole investigative process. How the fuck did he find that as an expired? Let's hear it. You have to check the spam. You have to spam check the domain for signs of abuse. Check archive history, hosting history, especially at points where domain ownership changed. So common stuff. If you see the website change for irrelevant content history, let it go. Also check anchors to see signs of spam for Viagra Casino. Foreign language anchors need to be translated and checked to see if they make sense. It's actually a really good point that people miss. Um, uh, just closed it one second. Fuck, where did it go? All right. I'll try to get it back because I'm an idiot. I literally. Also, it. why is the dude thinking about redirecting all the shit to his homepage? That's what I was going to say, dude. A uh, guy goes on and says, check the index for leftover spam content. Pay attention to organic traffic trends. If you're not going to take these steps and make sure the domain is clean, then you're wasting your time. Now, after these checks, connect it to that's This is a key point. Connect it to GSC and find out. Well, well, we'll say it's because of this. See if there's a manual pen penalty. Um, however, you're still not done. Leverage the authority. You'll have to restore the domain, resurrect it after, as if it's coming back to life. You change the niche or build a different site. And I agree with dude. That's the best way to go. You need to execute this in a way that it looks like the old site has come back. Restore content for pages with incoming links. Then have someone write an article with the same search intent so you are not violating copy. Ah, Once restored. Spin it. Yep. Once I've fallen store, asleep now. I know, right? SEO you want to all sleep. old pages to the new URLs on the page level and let it sit for 30 or 60 days. Now you're going to make 60. Not, nowhere in between, though. He actually is pretty fucking close to spot on, guys, for like optimal. Yeah. Shit. Sound, yeah. Basic process. Actually. Oh, okay. It's I see who it is. I've argued with this dude before. He's a dickhead. It sounds right. But he's right. I wish my wife would say that. He's a dickhead, <laughs> but he's right. I know, right? Yeah. I just get the first part a lot. Um, so the good point is uh, don't redirect all the fucking links to your homepage. That was OMG step number one back in the day for PBNs. That They had the redirect plug. It worked. Dude, ago. if you have like, if you grab something that is, is so particular and small, like a micro niche or something like that site, a micro site, and you have one page that covers everything for that site, then maybe get away with it. Yeah. Right? Well, but, they weren't buying those. Yeah. Dune got an expired domain ranking after a GAC blast. Nice. Sounds like something you would do, Brad. I used to. I don't do GSA in the, anymore because it's a pain in the ass to keep it running. Um, Joe has a question backlinks to a money site. Do you send service and city keyword link to sites service page or to the niche and city uh, page? Everything, or ultimately, does you want to link everything. No, he's talking about the I think he's talking about the specific anchors like so service oh. and city to the pay service page or to the city and niche page, like. It depends on what the the intent of the query is. Um, yeah, you, you want to look at each individual page and, and link to it properly. So, I mean, one sounds like it could be a freaking directory uh, portion of your website. The other one is your yeah. service page. So, it you could potentially do both, um, just depending on how. I, you I guess I don't see the difference between service plus city and niche plus city. I would need so service. I think what he means is like a water direct... damage versus water damage cleanup or so like something like the page where they're selling the actual service, right? They're doing their, their sales copy is how I see it. And a niche plus city, I see that as a page that lists out 
the locations or something like maybe a location page, a directory style page. That's how I see it, but I could be reading it. My yeah. Own. Joe just confirmed that they're on the right train of thought, but he goes back and forth on it often. And yes, he's talking about anchors. Just um, use page title, brand, URL. Um, you don't necessarily need to have keyword plus city in there. If you, I mean, unless it's really not pushing. And go back and do it. But I got you. So make this easy. Like go back to your tool or like surfer and go pull like the freaking cluster for each one of those and see where the difference is in the cluster names and use some of that to make your decision on for every market you go into. <laughs> I often wonder what Brad does when he switches off the camera. Um his dog comes in and licks his ear. <laughs> but Henry is saying, do you place affiliate links? once the page is ranking or at the time of publishing new to affiliate uh, new affiliate info site with brand new domain name so do you link out straight away when you're doing it is that the best way to do it train your writer to put those links on there for you um that would be my way but i would want to not change it if i don't have to down the line i mean in a lot of cases henry if you're worried about um, you know, the power of the website. Like, if I'm doing Amazon, all the affiliate links that I'm doing are, are, are uh, no follow. Um, you know, they're not passing out any value. So, if you're worried about, you know, a weak website passing out a lot of link equity or whatever you're thinking, I think about, people get worried about, oh, like all the, all the scare tactics about like Google hates affiliates and uh, if you have affiliate links, they're not going to rank your pages type of shit. You just got to have a certain percentage of information versus sales based. Don't you? It's, and it's based on where, what you're doing with your yeah. agent queries, right? So I totally agree with what you're saying, Craig. Um, but don't do try, and get, though. try and get the process done by your writer. Make sure they're adding the, the links in, you know, so you don't want to be going back and doing double work, um, you know, by placing the content then having to go in. If you've ever, like, I've, I've bought Amazon affiliate, eh, I've bought websites that have just been full of content and having to go in and add all the links. All it it's a bitch. Let someone else do that. Make that part of the content writer. Um, make that part of the uh, content writer's process. But Mario says, hey man, away from the hair. Were you away sorting your hair out, Brad? Me? Yeah. Neither pee. Or were you fixing your nails? No, I don't have any nails. I get nervous. It was away for a pee. Not to anything to do with hair and nails, guys. Um, what, <coughs> what have we got in the private chat here? What's this? I'm not clicking on it until someone. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't clicking, and nothing makes no. sense. It's that that song that just came up. Yeah. Oh man, um, I don't like Mike's taste in music, as I'm sure he knows. It's acquired. Yeah. For anyone who wonders how they know what he listens to, he sits prior to the show blasting this music while we pop in in the uh, back end listening to some... I'm not even going to see it because I'll end up... Yeah. You'll get, you're, you're get closed. <laughs> yeah. closed. Cancel Craig Campbell! <laughs> Apparently you can't say the N-word on YouTube anymore. Oh, no, no. I'm just going to see real Gabby's music, but it's not my job to to, to <laughs> yeah, slag off other oh, music. Oh, dude. I was, I, I won't go there because it would, yeah. What's yeah. up, dude? What's up, excellence? I love, I love that it. name. Any questions for us? Excellent. Yeah, what do you got question wise? Hurry. We have 12, well, 11 minutes, guys. Well, we got 12, yeah, 11. Whatever. I'm well, not, if he comes out with the next personal one, goals, question. personal goals. Always got to finish at an hour at least. That's a personal goal. Yeah. Get that old top ten. five goals and top one of five. That's the Rockefeller Habits. Nice. Apparently, I read the Rockefeller Habits book, and the main thing I got out of it is just keep fucking repeating yourself because no one listens the first time. There you go. I like how There's... Mike just randomly has a gun lying around in the floor, ready to just pull out. He's never ready to pull out. Never. <laughs> Oh, the couch pulls out. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
But yeah, let Mabe's me. been quiet. Is she still here? No, she no, left as soon as she could. I would too. Maeve, Maeve was asking questions earlier today, but she's not as um, not as a uh, in depth with her question um, as she once was. Uh, quick list of where you send safe. <laughs> Maeve's still there, by the way. Um, Darren is asking a quick list of where you send your safe links to. I don't because don't you have to keep paying for them over and over and over again? Right. They have like uh, there's a couple marketplaces like uh, safe, one time. like yeah, that, that are one times and stuff. But those are the same thing as an edit. Like I would do it just like I do a PBN link and edit or whatever. Yeah, send them direct to your money site. No, come on. No, do it. Dude, there are guys I know that do it. <laughs> it works. Yeah. Hmm? I wouldn't, but hey. I would. I mean, it depends on what that site is. I mean, I wouldn't send it. It's a link, it. but if it's a solid link, send it direct. If it's, it's, a, if it's a shit link, then don't. And then if anyone fucks up their site, I'll be like, eh, it must have been a shit link. I told you not to do that. <laughs> I mean, really, it's just like getting an edit. It, it, it really is. There was so a local it's... guy. There was a local guy to me. Uh, Mark Lawrence is his name. So he didn't know what SAPE was and stuff like that. Um, so showed him SAPE and all that stuff. And he's like, so anyway, I've told him, you know, that's what This you is do. what you get when you pay $10,000 for a one-on-one conversation yeah. with you. You show him SAPE links. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sign me up. And he's like, he's like, dude, why can I not send this shit to my money website? Like he argues, he's like, dude, I'm sending this shit to my money website. Do it. He's, I've got to do it. He says that's totally relevant uh, to, to the niche that he's in. Yeah. Um, so, Mad Mark. Quality um, quality is all in like uh, what it really is at the end of the day. And I send, it, send it to a mini net site and then yeah, like filter it. Site here. Yeah, absolutely. And da, 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 da. So Joe's got a question. What he notices is Google will often rank the niche city page for the city keyword search. I don't like fighting than... Google for that shit. Yeah. Can I force to Google to switch it up with it's hard. backlinks? It depends on the age, I would say, and the maturity of everything. And and I, I would say it might not be worth it. And you might just want to try to start converting them yeah. from where you're at. It might take it, it might if you could do it, it might take a while. Especially for local. We have trouble with that all the time. So let Google guide you. There are certain instances where you're just not going to fight it off. Always. Uh, and I've had that, you know, the example I've given several times is when I started out my own blog, I had SEO Glasgow on the homepage title, stupidly. Um, and then about two years later, I decided that I was going to create an inner page for Glasgow, uh, the SEO Glasgow, and it would never switch. It, yeah. it, it always hit page two with the inner page when I reverted back. And then you're just cannibalizing your rankings. Yeah. In this case here, that Google guy was on two or three, I would also look at the other page that you have on that site and see if you should de-optimize that page as well at the same time because yeah. you might be t kind of dampening what you're doing. So if you look at the, uh, the other page, make sure that it is targeting a different EMQ and not the same EMQ. And I mean that from like the modifier level of the page. The best thing I do about patience, Loud Egg, is I just forget about it entirely. That's the only way I can have mm -hmm. patience. <laughs> forget about it. Yeah, Joel, thank you. Good. I'm fine. He said Joel, I'm fine. Also, um, Jordan Pierce is also a sapist and uh, still uses it. So I'm a sapist. I'm a sapist. Got you. <laughs> um, but Excellence has a question. Perfect. What makes a profitable niche and how do you write content if you don't have personal experience? In Is there the money in it Is if it's a profitable niche? So. Can you make money right away if you have ranking and traffic? If you can't make money and you have to find out how to make money, stay away from it. Yeah, that means are, the offers, are there offers? Because I, I, I have seen like at least dozens of people to this at this point. Uh, they'll go. Uh, they'll, they'll go after a niche, and they're like, and, and they'll put all this time and effort, not necessarily money, but it's definitely time and effort into building out a site in some random ass niche. And I'm like, how how are you going to monetize this? Oh, I've got to find a way to do it once it's ranking. No, <laughs> no, you do that first. So find find an offer. Rehab. Look into rehab. 
fuck it. Like that is a profitable niche. So um CIDdigital.net is Craig's secret backlink marketplace. Yeah, it is. He loves it. He ordered I I I hear the owner of that tells me that orders come through as uh, all the Craig. time from Craig. Like some every Spanish, single some Spanish guy, Craig Cambello. Um <laughs> Campolina. <laughs> Campolino. Um but what was the second half of this question? Uh how do you do content? Uh I yeah. copy, I, I borrow content from the competition and I spin it. Yep. And I'm done. Easy peasy. Ta-da, voila, magic. I, I actually um that that site that I mentioned is like a few weeks ago, maybe close to a month ago, that I bought from uh Otis. And then I had my dude, uh, he, he went through and created all the server content. It start, it's getting calls. I don't know where the fuck the calls are coming from, but it's people looking for fucking rehab. Um, it, it's crazy. But yeah. Brad does SEO and he doesn't even know what the freaking queries are. Yeah, I know. Um, I'm like, oh, cool. This uh, works. It's converting money yeah. in the bank. Yeah. Show me what you drink. That is called real spam when you don't know what queries that your content is fucking targeting. No, I can tell now. Uh, these are, I'm getting fucking direct calls, and I don't have uh, GMBs or anything attached to it unless it's yeah. the last one. Well, wait, you know, for this content thing too, like another way like to take it from like a tool uh, angle is that you can use Surfer, go and put your target keyword in, and then instead of using the cluster names like we were talking about earlier, find the page that you're trying to rank for, grab the supporting keywords there, and then uh, remove the, the duplicated words in there and just make sure you touch on each one of those modifiers um, on that page. And, and that's actually the expertise of the fucking content because yeah. it's what Google's ranking the, the, the ranking sites for. So Jordan, you can go ahead. Go ahead. I was just going to say, Jordan's comment, GMBs, uh, in rehab, there's so many terms outside of the uh, keyword plus city. Um, yeah, you need the, that yeah. You, you, you can make a, a ton of money off of those. So, And actually, that network that I was talking about earlier, that that's all um, just pure organic. There's no GMBs. Yeah, that's when you something. mentioned it, I thought it was GMBs. Yeah. But apparently it's not. So. Locky. Uh, but if you can get GMBs in a market where you, they, I mean, honestly, like I would never pass GMBs if I could have GMBs. Yeah, they work. So, Sackline, what are your thoughts? Google decided to launch a bot in the SERP to compete with ChatGPT. They already have one. Yeah. I actually saw a, a video. It's something that we Better. all agree with uh, Neil Patel with. It was uh, everyone, oh, these fucking dogs. Um, he's like, everyone's all worried about chat GPT, uh, taking over Google and this and that. He's like, that's bullshit. All their stuff is way better. All the, all the it's chat way better. It's, it's so it. much better. It's stupid. And, and he came up with, like a very valid point on why it's better. Why would you say it was better? Mike? Cause it's them because they have the data. What That's exactly mean? right. Their data that they have, cause not only are they doing what, what, what chat GPT can do. They literally know what everyone does at all time, every single data. fucking time of the day. They know what everybody is watching on TV. They have, there's no way anybody will outperform Google. And what I will say on this part of this question here on info sites, what they will do is they will try to get a, a, a one site answer to a query. Like, so when you ask this bot, eventually, hey, what's going on with this? I want to know, blah, 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 blah. How do I, what shoes are the best for climbing Mount Everest? They're going to try to give you one answer and they're not going to try to give you a list of 10 sites. So if you're not number one, then you're not going to be shown eventually is what I think is going to happen. Um, but then if it's a new query and they don't have they haven't you know done their they haven't learned into it deep enough, then there will be a list of sites. So it comes down to literally what we always talk about, getting the data out of Google, using their data and the data you have on the users on your site, mixing it to make a site that answers that query intent so that you're always on top of this shit. Because eventually it's going to be really important to be the best. Next and probably final question from Mr. Darren Muzzy. Can you move a homepage ranking in a city with just anchor text of like tier one, two, three, four, like Pummelit, but no city mention? On Why would you want to? I would say that would be so a waste of money. Yeah. 
I wouldn't want to, so I wouldn't try it. Yeah, you can associate a modifier with anchors, but if you don't have your on-page linked up, then you don't have that that synergy and that eat, 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 or whatever the hell they call yeah. it now, burger time. Yeah. That's what it is, dude. It's, it's Ziffer burger time. Ziffer burger time. Quick last question. No follow affiliate links, even if we go use Go as a subfolder for affiliate tracking using pretty links and disallow Go in the robots text file, or is that overdoing you're, stuff? You're overthinking it. It's not a problem to use affiliate links. Do a uh, sponsor. Sponsored link. Yeah. Market is sponsored. Then you're good. Just, I mean, if you're building your pages and you're trying to be quality and offer a service to the users and you send them to Amazon, you're just like a ton of other sites that do the same thing. Um, and, and if you mark that up, right, like Craig, you've mentioned no follow and you're not trying to manipulate something and pass a manipulation through that they're looking for, then you should be fine. So hopefully that answers your question, Henry. Um, but we are out of time. We got there eventually, guys. <laughs> she always does. Yeah. Does she? You're lucky. Not always. Um, but we are back at the same time next week. But guys, you any webinars or anything coming up? Hope not. Uh, we're going to have one this month, um, but we'll talk about it next week because I haven't talked to Brad yet. Cool. You better not be bringing anyone on again. Yeah! Same Check one. It. Niche website builders. <laughs> Um, but Dude, my spine's crooked, man. From where I broke my back and my neck, that shit is like painful now. I think I was born like that. I should have I like saved fine. my drug years till I was older and felt worse. Yeah, I don't know why you wouldn't. Stupid, dude. I drink too much in my twenties, so. <laughs>